Hey guys, today I'm going to just give you a little tutorial on how to record your iOS device, whether that's an iPad, an iPod Touch, or an iPhone, uh, on your Mac. And so with that, you're only going to need a couple little things. Obviously your iOS device, make sure that's updated to iOS 8. Uh, you can just do that through general software update, and then you should be able to uh, get that all up to date if you haven't already. And then make sure that your Mac is updated to uh, OS, OS X, 10.10 <laughs> Yosemite. And that's a free update through the Mac App Store, so be sure to just get both of those squared away. Um, and then you're just going to need your lightning cable, just plug directly into your computer. And so what you're going to do is just simply open up QuickTime here. And with this, just go right up to File, click New Movie Recording. A new window will pop up. It'll be your face on there, your front-facing camera. Um, but just go right down to the triangle right next to the record button. And when you select that, you'll get a couple options. So uh, select your iPhone underneath the camera. Then you'll see your screen pop up. Microphone, also select your, your iPhone because that will record any uh, in-app audio, whether that's a game or something like that. It'll capture that in the video and then you know quality high or maximum so once you hit record you'll see the size of the the file and then the duration of it and then once you're in here anything that you do on your phone is actually uh, mirrored uh, into this uh, into QuickTime and so I just went and said Tapastic this great uh, artist Sean Mike uh, has a work out right now fireworks for the end of the world uh, really, really interesting story. Great character development. Awesome art style. I, I'm just, I'm blown away by it. Um, so definitely check this guy out. Tapastic is, you know, it's both in apps and then it's online as well. Uh, and so with this, with QuickTime, you can uh, record any any app on there, whether that's a a game or a news app or anything like that. Uh, you can use it for tutorials if perhaps there's a grandmother or grandfather that you have uh, or even just a parent or a friend that doesn't really know how to do something. You can record a quick video and then just send it right along to them. It's actually really, really helpful. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, be sure to comment down below. And also hit that like button because uh, that, that is really appreciated. And also subscribe and to keep up to date with all the new videos that I'll be putting out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.